iMessage is Apple's proprietary app that lets you send text messages, videos, pictures and audio clips through a Wi-Fi or cellular data connection. While the program is only meant to work between Apple products, there are a few ways you can get your Android or Windows devices to use iMessage as well. In this guide, we'll walk you through the few ways you can work with iMessage on your Windows and Android gadgets. The different techniques to use iMessage on non-Apple devices come with varying degrees of difficulty, and just about every successful method requires that you already own an Apple device. Sorry about that. However, there are some workarounds. How to use iMessage on your Windows PC or Android device. Use AirMessage, Android only. AirMessage is a service that essentially forwards messages from your iMessage app to a browser on your Android device. You'll need a Mac computer to get this method to work. Navigate to the AirMessage website on your Mac and download the server. Link in the description. Make sure that you add the app to your applications folder. Once you launch the app, you'll receive a pop-up welcome message. Click the Connect an Account Recommended button and link your Gmail account to register. During the initial launch of the app, you'll be prompted to allow AirMessage to send and read your messages. Make sure you give the app permission. Your Mac computer should be functional at all times in order to utilize the service, so you'll want to shut off sleep mode to stop the device from becoming unavailable. You can do this by going to Energy Saver menu from System Preferences, then moving the computer sleep slider to Never. From here, navigate to the web version of AirMessage from a browser on your Windows machine, then sign in using the Gmail account you use with your Mac. For Android, download the AirMessage app from the Google Play Store, which works similarly to the web version. Use Chrome Remote Desktop. Similar to AirMessage, you will also need a Mac to get the Chrome Remote Desktop technique to work since that's the device you'll be controlling through your Windows PC or Android smartphone or tablet. Make sure the Chrome browser is installed on your Mac. Your Windows PC or laptop should have it installed as well if that's where you want to access iMessage from. Launch Chrome and download the Chrome Remote Desktop extension by clicking on the Add to Chrome button. Link in the description. Access the extension by clicking on the puzzle icon at the top right corner of your browser and selecting Chrome Remote Desktop. To set up remote access, click the Download button. The Chrome Remote Desktop will start the installation process. Do not close the window. Wait for the host installer to open. A new window will pop up showing the steps you need to take to install Chrome Remote Desktop. Click Continue. Select the disk where you want the software to be installed, then click Continue. You'll be asked to enter a device name. Click in the name and click Next. Choose a pin you'd like to use to connect your device remotely. The pin needs to have at least six numbers and then click Start. After a few seconds, the extension should show your device's remote desktop status is now online. Launch Chrome on Windows and open the Chrome Remote Desktop extension. The session will start connecting on Windows. Meanwhile, a new window will pop up on your Mac. Click Share to allow your Windows device to see and control your device. Once it gives you a message saying your email is now connected to this machine, you should be able to control your Mac from your Windows device. And alternatively, for Android users, you can download the Chrome Remote Desktop app, which works the same way as the web version. And all that's left is to do is to open the Messages app on your Mac device and start iMessaging on Windows. Note, the Chrome browsers on both your Windows and Mac devices should have the same Gmail account logged in, obviously. This also applies to your Android device. OK, there it is. Hopefully you found any of that helpful. As always, thank you for watching. We really appreciate your support and I will see you next time.